All right. APAT DNA APAT review for September the 10th, um, 2014. Um, this show was. Um, this show was. There was something, the again there was some good part, then some bad part. The, you get the whole point. The, so, we started off in Paris, uh, oh, we started in Paris off with um, Chris Ben Nader Smash. The, we started off with a uh, Saga. Uh, Chris Benedis and um, he faced um, DJ C. Yeah, DJ C. It was this was really to pull over Medina in the first match. Um, so, as far as concerned, about Menades. Um, as far as Menades goes, he really kind of was a little bit of green. A little bit of green. This part was like, it was alright, but could have been so much more. It might have been like, what? Four minutes. But that is fu well that's fucking it. That's probably it. Um next match Uh next segment was Next segment was um Oh, Kurt Angle came out, um, talking about calling out EC3, and, and, um, that he's facing Rhino in a street fight, which, oh my god, what the f- what? They tried to overbook the living, living hell. Out of those damn Gibbon mashes. I mean, come on, man. Oh my god. <coughs> the match was easy, I guess. <coughs> but I get so sick of this damn stipulation. Could I have uh, gone for no way to give away free VFAs? Oh God! EC three one. Um, next we have um Bobby Wu cutting a promo. <sighs> I like Bobby Wu as a uh, I I I had this bad feeling. I wild my mind as I watched this in the man. That he f a bit. And I don't know about you guys, and you can be him. Uh, I had the uh, the really boggle mining my that Bobby Wood was almost turning to do fucking. No, he was not super seen. Nah, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, so he comes out, and uh, Bobby Lashley came out, and we beat Kenny King, and, 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 uh, that, uh, like I said, Bobby, I don't think he's super seen, but 
my feeling is that it's a little bit it's a little bit probably starting becoming a vanilla as a fan. That's my concern. So Team MVP came out and interrupted Bobby Roo and he and but and the MVP and they fight and then eventually every John Simone and Joe say Bobby Roo that is to you guessed it, a daddy mash. I guess the thing, you know. So next, so we got a match, the MVP versus Simone Joe, uh, Eric Young, and Bobby Wood. Um, this match was, the match itself was like, The match itself was um, the match itself was um was good good match uh good match Bobby Woo when the Bobby Woo won so it's last year versus Bobby Woo for the World Title and also when. Uh, So yeah. Next we have Next we had um uh same between James Storm and uh Rebirth of Manic and at the end he was Sort of taking off Maddie's mask, as many you know, the suicide mask. I'm really intrigued what they are do, but strange, really strange. Like, like you're like, what the fuck is going on? That's what happened. So yeah. Next we have Olga, oh the Brumers and the beautiful. And I don't even know who was member of the beautiful and the members of the. Okay. So it's Brumers and one of the members of the beautiful people versus uh, the Menagerie. Oh God! I think it was. Uh, Robbie D, Jesse Guy, and I think it was Angel Lee of Love versus um Nuz. I think it was Crazy D and Rebel. Yeah, there were three. Oh god. Oh god, this match was retarded at point the end. Holy good lord. Why the why is Rebel is in the ring? She is so not bad but so green, not good in the rain. It's like, and and I heard from Nordic Kill. I don't know about you guys, but for multiple sources, I heard was that she got injured. Oh God! And the uh, other other things that she was screaming and had no business. But that's exactly what happened. He had no, no business being in the ring yet. 
Yeah, at least at this point, it's easy if it's an old game, maybe, uh, she is so very green, so very green. Oh, there was a same episode who was with the cover of the 2015 Planet cover, and this was a confusing, confusing set. So, the cover of the Cannoneer of TNA Knockouts was Velvet Guy was like grabbing a knockout baby face. Why are you going for a heel and that? It's like, I don't know. They just got to have it come out. It was like, oh yeah. Now, Wow. Like, holy shit. Then, she attacked your carriage, like, okay. But then she started to attack Brittany, and it's like... So, are we supposed to root for Brittany here? Like, who's, who's a here? Is Brittany a here or is he a face? Like, who's... Oh, gosh. I get more and more confused by that said. More confused. It wanted a beautiful thing. That got more confusing. So. So. Strange. Like confusing. Not I said. Next we have. Oh, Next we have uh, a tactic match between um, James Storm and Sonata versus um, Austin Aries versus the Hiri. Um, the match itself was good. This one of the ma matches of the night. This one of the matches of the night. I don't know who won this. Like, I really don't know. Like, I really don't know this. So, yeah, I don't know who won. Did I got here one? I. Very, uh, I don't know, but it was. I know it was a good one, but the. James Storm is a nine but a series is a two. Yeah. Next we have the main event. That the triple threat that the they were for three day three D um the Hardys and um the Wolves. So this match it was a great match, really great. So, yeah, nothing to complain about. Uh, Jeff and Matt Hoy won the match. And, and they beat the stipulation. And the stipulation was the last match. My problem with the whole Simmons one, they really, really telegraphed the, 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 the reveal of the stipulation. When, <coughs> when Jeff and Matt had grabbed the ladder, you knew for sure that they were going to win. That, that, that they were going to pick the stipulation. And that was the ladder match. And you really had that fear. And it did. So that's we no surprise that the ladder So yeah. It was a uh, okay show, but could have been a lot much more. That's my opinion. So yeah, peace. Ah.